We are still currently in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, enjoying every last bite of it. And in this episode, we woke up early with our friends, Malaysian locals, Perry and Sue, to reward ourselves with delicious bites. So sit back, relax, while we showcase you our first taste of Kampung Bites. Get ready. I thought the duck couldn't be top, but this beef is really special. Satay here of Kambing and Perut. Itik Salai actually translates to smoked duck. So Itik is duck, Salai is smoked. That's really one of the specialties here. So this place is very famous for good reason. Uh, you walk in, you just smell that aroma of smoked meats. And the dish is really known for here is the masak lemak chili api. So we're actually in Kajang, which is a uh, little 45 minutes outside of Kuala Lumpur. And we're not too far from the state where this dish uh, hails from, Negeri Sembilan. We ordered up some deliciousness here. So of course, if itik's in the title, we gotta go hard on the itik. So we got the itik masak lemak, and we also got the itik rendang. So if you watched our video in KL where we found duck rendang in the streets with some lemang, we'll put a card up here, check that out. Second time we're having duck rendang. We're really excited for that. It looks amazing. Uh, so we also got the daging masak lemak, so that's the beef. The cool thing about it, all these different uh, masak lemak, the gravies all have a different color to them. So like some are darker, some are a little lighter, and we're gonna see all, all the different tastes. We're so excited. Came, Right, so we're going to start with the itik masak lemak chili api. So that's the smoked duck. Um, man, this this curry looks incredible. So it's like it's got kind of a yellowish green color to it. And I love how this chop up all the pieces of the duck. You have the duck neck, you have these, all these other pieces of duck here. You have these big strands of lemongrass. It looks phenomenal. So I'm going to scoop a little of this onto the rice and I'm going to try it out. Without further ado, let's try this. I'm gonna try actually the duck by itself first before we mix it in with the rice. It smells so good. Mmm. That is insane. So you get that really smoky flavor from the duck. And the gravy, the, it's really spicy too. It's like, it's creamy, it's got that coconut milk. Very yellow, it's like turmeric. You get that lemongrass, wow. But I just wanna try that broth by itself. Try the gravy. A little bit here. Whoa, that's a flavor explosion right there. There's that little saltiness, spicy, turmeric, lemongrass, got it all. This, and that smokiness, the smokiness of that duck is really being absorbed by that curry. Gonna scoop a little with the rice. This, this curry is tailor made for rice. Really one of the most flavorful dishes we've eaten here in Malaysia so far. And that's a tall order to say because, you know, Malaysia is packed full of flavors, but this dish is really on a whole another level. Wow. So up next, we're gonna try the daging, the beef. So the beef is like, it's sliced up. It kind of reminds me of like, like you back in the US, kind of like brisket. It looks kind of like, just that smoke barbecue kind of, like, that's what's cool about being out here. This actually, is, it does feel like you're out in the country a little bit. The curry here looks a little more yellow than the other one. The, the duck look, has a little more like oil droplets. And it's kind of more green. This one's a little more yellow. So let's try a piece of the beef by itself first. Mmm. Wow. That beef's got such a great smoky flavor. It really reminds me a lot of like barbecue brisket back in the US. It's got like a peppery flavor. And the meat, it's like not overly tender. It's got some chew to it too, which I like. I thought the duck couldn't be top, but this beef is really special. Put a little bit of some rice. This dish is really just another flavor explosion. I, I can't get enough of this. All right, so now we got this duck rendang. It looks incredible. So if duck is a specialty here, you know it's gonna be good. So this looks very rich. So this is that rendang where it's like very saucy. So the, the meat's just been swimming in it. it smells delicious. I see some seeds here. It looks like it might be cumin or uh, anise. That duck red lung is so tender. I barely had to put my teeth down into it just to sink into it. It's really so good. I'm not surprised at how delicious this is when duck is their specialty here. Wow. You wanna try some duck red lung, you gotta come here too. Don't sleep on it. It may not be like the number one specialty dish here, but it is amazing. Shout out to our friends, 
chasing a plate. Thomas and Sheena. The video of this place is just, we were drooling watching it. So since it's our first time here in Kajang, in the countryside, we gotta go all in, get to see what was happening at the grill. I got to go inside, inhale all the flavors. Oh, I'm so excited to eat more. So here we ordered one of everything. So there's four types of meats you can order. You got the ayam, the chicken, the dogging, the beef, the kambing, the mutton, and the fourth, uh, peru, that's the tripe. We got one of each. It looks amazing. You get to see all the shards of lemongrass here. And you also got each of us have a bowl of the peanut sauce, which has looks like a little bit of chili in there as well. So you've got like the brown peanut sauce color and the red chili. It looks great. I'm so excited. You see this chicken is like it looks really juicy. Yellow shards of lemongrass. It smells amazing. Before we dip it in that sauce though, we gotta try it by itself. Let's do it. Mm. The chicken is so juicy and this is just covered in lemongrass. It's like it's like the lemongrass almost caramelized a little bit from that smoke. This is perfect. I've never had a chicken satay like this before. How to try it with the sauce. It's a nice chunky peanut sauce. Like you get a nice balance of like the creaminess, you get the chunky peanut in there, the spicy. So it's not like overwhelmingly peanutty flavor. It's a really nice balance to go with that already very flavorful meat, so, wow. I'm gonna try the dogging, the beef. This one looks like very caramelized. It's nice and smoky from that charcoal. I'll take a bite. It's insanely good. It's gonna taste like a little sweeter. Really tender beef. Man, the satay is so good. You don't even really need the sauce. The sauce enhances it, but they're so good on their own. You can just order a plate of these, no sauce, and just love and enjoy every single bite of it. Now, let's try the tripe. Really interesting color here. The texture, let's, let's give it a shot. Some charred bits on the edge there. Oh. I love the texture of it. I like how this how this kind of cut of meat, you can get the nice charred bits on the outside. It's got a little chew to it, but it's still pretty soft. It does not have that much tripe flavor, just a little bit of that organy flavor. So people who are not really into the organs, you could probably get down with this. Nice of flavor. There's definitely the big difference here is that texture. Mm. I think this one tastes best with the peanut sauce of the other ones I've had so far. I'll be more likely to use to put the pedo in the peanut sauce. Alright, last but certainly not least is the kambing. Look at this. Look at all these pieces. They're kind of like all over the place here, which is cool. And you can see this tons of lemongrasses. Look at that. Amazingly lemongrassy looking kambing here. Let's take a bite. This one you get lots of lemongrass, but you get the very distinct kambing flavor. It certainly comes out chewier than the others, but still very nice, very tasty. That's why they're all quite different. You can really discern all four of these. You can really make a difference between all four of them, all four flavors, textures, and then how well they go with the sauce. This one also goes very well with the uh, peanut sauce. If you want satay and you're in the KL area, you gotta just take that trip to Kajang. This is the spot to go. It's the open air, you gotta feel the vibe. Satay is supposed to be more like a nighttime food from what we hear from locals. And we can imagine how amazing this place is at night. The vibes here must be just through the roof, so that nighttime feel. But we're happy to be able to get this during the daytime. And they're excellent. Satay is worth the hype. It's definitely everything we thought it would be and more. Yeah, I've never tried like satay that is so good without the sauce. I think this is like one of the best satays I've ever tried. Especially that, that chicken and that porot, that porot. Yeah, that's the first time I had porot that, is, that tastes so good like that. Yeah, glad we're here. <laughs> glad you guys are here together with us. <laughs> I mean, look, the empty plates say it all. Yeah. Yep. Finishing off this day of feasting with curry and soup. Yeah. 
<laughs> Check you guys out. They're going to have an awesome video about this spot as well. It's a very popular spot. It's very open, airy. Like, I love the vibe here. Even reminds us a little bit of our favorite place in New York City to get seafood, Astoria Seafood. Uh, we made a whole video about it. You can check the link up here for that. The place opens up only at night. So you come here after five o'clock. We actually, this is based on a recommendation from Willie Sate. He used to work at the original branch in Pahang. They said to order the Aji Aji is one of the fish he recommended. So it was awesome. You pick out your fish fresh. And they grill it, they wrap it in the banana leaves and grill it. So, so we got this style of bakar, but it also comes in samba. When it rises at your table, like the outside of the banana leaves are charred to a crisp. And you gotta just carefully open it up, undress it, and then you get your beautiful fish right here. So, um, about this spot too, this spot is originally from uh, coastal Pahang state. So, we're gonna go ahead and try, I don't know which one to go first. I think I'm gonna go with the Aji Aji first, and then so we can save for the Pattaya afterwards. Walk a piece here. There it is. I'm gonna try it by itself first. It's steaming, fresh, hot, it smells amazing. Let's give it a taste. Oh, a sambo. Mm. It's a very meaty fish, but it's also very soft and tender. The sambo doesn't overwhelm it. You really get to still taste the uh, flavor of the fish. And you still you get that nice aroma of the banana leaves that have been grilled around it. It's excellent. I think the banana leaves probably make it even more tender because it's, it's trapping everything all inside that banana leaf to make it even more tender. Wow. That's delicious. Great recommendation for our man at Willy Sate, for sure. I'm gonna take some of the Aji Aji. We'll take it with the uh, historic sweet soy sauce. Mm. So good. It does taste like ketchup manis, but it tastes like there's some calamansi in there. Uh, maybe some chili, onions, possibly some garlic. There's a lot going on. You can even eat this by itself on some rice. That's how good the sauce is. Yep. That's what I'm doing right now. Try a little bit with the uh, Assam sauce. You get that tanginess from the tamarind, but it's also still a little sweet too, and a little spicy kick. It's a lot going on. Now it's time to get some batai, the stink beans. This whole piece right here. Mm. The sambo is quite similar to the one in the Aji Aji, but that batai, that stink bean really gives it, and it complements the stingray so well. I think really is a good choice. This patai will probably be quite good with the Aji Aji too, but there's something about getting a good fish like that and not overdoing it. And that's why there's a lot of different preparations you can order here, but really the classics are the way to go. You gotta go with what this place is known for. It's really nice to get the patai with the stingray. The stingray is nice and tender, it's meaty. Everything here is fresh. You're picking it out right in the front. They get a lot of the fish in from Pahang as well. 